Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, December 26, 2020. Week 108? Is yes. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> hey, we're winging it here. I'm um, being the I'm being the the photo person today. Yeah. Stay so everybody could complain to Stacy it's all shaky. No. <laughs> Maybe. But Hope everybody okay. had a great Christmas. We did. We just had yes. a simple little dinner. It was wonderful. And the kids uh were hanging out and uh it was nice. And we, we watched two movies. Yes, we did. We watched a couple of movies. And I didn't fall bit. asleep. Yep, we watched a little bit of stuff. <laughs> well, hey, let's get into some weights. Last week, I was 333.4. Not happy about that. And this morning, I was 332.6, down 0.8. Still not where I want to be, but it's better than going up. More. This is very so true. I'll take that. Yeah, Thank absolutely. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Took it easy this week. Um, didn't do any fasting, but I uh, did try and just be careful of what I was eating. My yeah. stomach is going crazy right now, even. It is what it is. Mine a little bit too, although oh, I probably too, yeah. ate the most yesterday than I have in a while. We got up and had a really good breakfast and um, a little yeah. bit of a snack, and then dinner was really yummy. Yeah. So where were you? So last week I weighed in at 137.8. And this morning I weighed in at 137.6. Oh, so you're down <laughs> 0.2. Okay. Again, not fantastic, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It works. Yeah, it does. It does. <sighs> so this is probably our last video for the year, huh? Yeah. Possibly. No. I saw Stacy peeking in yes. the uh, Southern Keto cookbook the other day, so who knows? I stopped asking for recipes, so I don't know. It is what it is. She'll get to it when she gets to it, I guess. I got my granola stuff out. I want to do granola in the air fryer. I saw that on the counter. Yeah. The recipe. It should be interesting. I don't know. I like granola. I like the crunch. Um, so far, we've done really good with our air fryer. I've been making chicken yes. on a regular basis with it. It's pretty darn nice. Uh, this is our third air fryer. <laughs> we went through quite a few before we found this one. And yes. uh, it's been pretty darn good. That's the one we did the review on. on yeah, here too. Omo. Um, yeah, Omo. 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 Yeah. But I really like it because there's a lot of room in it and there's a bottom drip tray and it all goes in the dishwasher. <laughs> so that, it is that's quite my nice. kind of air fryer. <laughs> yes. Fast and easy to use. <laughs> and we bought another griddler. We had a griddler ah. for, gosh, probably over 10 years. Yes. And it finally just gave out a Cuisinart griddler. And uh, it's almost like a panini press. Yes. And um, we just finally decided it was on sale on Amazon. It's like, yeah, it's time to replace that because we, we missed it. Yes. For making burgers or something real quick. Very, very nice. <laughs> we went to make burgers the other day and I forgot that we... Got rid um, of the griddle. And got rid of it. I'm like, where is it? He goes, we threw it away. So I'm not making burgers. And he's like, well, you can make it in a pan. I said, well, well who it, wants to do it in a pan? Yeah, it was so old. It had been dropped <laughs> a few times. The, the plates wouldn't even stay on it. They would kind of like you go to press it and then one plate would fall off when you go to <laughs> open it up. It, it was not the fault of the Cuisinart. It was no. it was a lot of good use. I would say it was so, very well used. So that's why we decided to go ahead and replace it because we got lots of good use yes, out of it. we did. So we got a new one and I'm very happy <laughs> about that. Very happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy. Burgers yeah. are really good. Didn't you do a steak on it the other day? Yes, I did. Took a piece of meat that you got. I think it was from Kroger, maybe Costco. Costco. But it was darn good. It was really good. Yeah, I was very stop happy. Shaking. You no, talk I'm about shaking me the, shaking. I'm shaking the couch stop thing. it. I can watch your arms shake. Because <laughs> you do that to me when I do it. <laughs> I'm I'm sitting as still as I can. You got right a now. house full of tripods and can't go get a tripod. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all had a great holiday and everybody's healthy and happy and safe and warm and fuzzy and cozy. We got some snow for we did. Christmas morning. That was kind of neat. Probably about what? About an inch and a half, I think we got. Yeah, Lauren came home just to have dinner with us and hang for a few days. And uh, Julia, well, she's she's kind of beyond the whole elf and the Santa thing. At this point, so it's the magic of Christmas is kind of, you know, lost its thing. But it's a little different, yeah. Yeah, but Lauren yeah. almost didn't come home, and my heart was 
sad. quite sad. Yeah. And then she, she said, will you come get me? And I said, absolutely. I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. And we fixed our dryer. We did. Yeah, dryer was broken. A little squeaky. Right here in the laundry room. Yeah. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Had an uh, estimate of about 275 bucks to fix it, yeah. and I'm just cheap. So I got on Amazon, found the part, and Stacy and I... We're crafty. Yeah, so Stacy and I just sat down for about an hour and took it apart and replaced the part, and it's nice and quiet, and it works great again. It doesn't actually... I really, really clean the whole entire inside of the dryer, and I have to tell you, um, it's much quieter, of course, but I feel like it's more efficient it again better. yeah it works so better. yeah take it apart every now and again and and clean it <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> that wasn't fun but well but 12 hey, years saved us a couple hundred bucks it did so it i'm did. happy with that we fixed it for what, like 18 uh 16 bucks yeah 16. yeah and just the part alone was going to be like 40 something to replace it through and i didn't break a nail I was super happy. I almost broke a nail. I would have been not happy. Yeah. So needless to say, I left an Amazon review for that part because I was very happy that for 16 bucks, we were able to fix it and uh, all's well. All's very happy. well. It is. So everybody have a great one. Um, we're sticking with the keto. Mm -hmm. I'm doing, doing my card manager and trying to get, you know, down. Yeah. I don't know. Real life. I'm excited. I have egg salad and ham for lunch today. Oh. Not green eggs, though. I was going to say, is it green? I knew you were going to say that. That's why I said not green eggs, though. <laughs> we'll put some dye in there and mix it up. No, thank you. Green eggs and ham. No, thank you. But both were really good. I don't even think I'm going to eat today. Now, come 2 o'clock, I'll be starving. And, like, With out both there. girls home, it's a little harder to It is, because they want fast. me to make them something all the time. Or they'll come out here and make something that smells wonderful, and then you're like, oh, you get hungry. It's tough. It is, it is different when you got the kids. I think what's worse for me is the microwave popcorn. That's not easy. <sighs> the smell when you of smell popcorn. that popcorn. Yeah. Because they make tough. a lot of popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Julia likes popcorn. Throws me off. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but I haven't eaten any because if I ate some, then I'd eat more. You know? Right. <laughs> Stop it. What? Does that bother you when I shake? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Paybacks, boy, they're not fun. Yeah. Well, they are kind of fun, but. All righty. Well, <laughs> Stacy's about to head out. We got to go clean her car off because it's yucky, snowy. And uh, I've got a bazillion things I need to be doing that I got to get going on. And I just need to get. Yeah. I don't know. I need to get motivated. I actually did some caulking. Yeah. <laughs> that we're. One. Yeah, we worked on that basement for a couple of years now, and uh, just the very, very small, fine, fine touch caulking around baseboards and stuff is what we're doing now. We've gotten pretty good at it, I might say. Yeah. By the time you're done, you'll be like ready to go to somebody else's house and just knock it out, right? <laughs> like, I know how to do that. So it's one more thing that like when I go to work and they need help, they... Uh, laid a floor, laminate flooring in the mm -hmm. Stacey's good at that. The, the pharmacy um, office. And I was like, make sure you do this. And they were kind of like, mm, okay. Guess what they didn't do? They didn't stagger the oh. boxes. You're supposed to like, make yeah, sure you, you have three boxes and make sure you mix them so that you don't have the same pattern in and the blocks. the right. be off a little. And they didn't. And like They were halfway through. I'm like, oh, you guys didn't do that, like, huh? I said, you didn't, you didn't mix the boxes, did you? They're like, how do you know? I'm like, because the pattern is all the same in that block and then all the same in this block. So I yeah. said, you know, I replaced Like, How do you know? I said, because I, re I redid, or, well, not redid, I laid the initial flooring down in our basement, uh, built it all the measuring. I did the measuring. He did all the cutting because, yeah, wasn't about doing that. And then I laid the floor. So it was a very satisfying thing and now i can clock if they need it yeah and you know if we <laughs> need to do another floor we got it yeah absolutely we learned a lot we, we saved did. a lot but we, we saved a, lot a ton too. but yeah yeah we're more crafty than we thought we were well resourceful when you have to be
That's okay. But it, you know what? It's satisfying when you go into your basement and you go, ah, it's all done. We did probably 90% of the basement we did ourselves, except for the drywall. That was hard, heavy, messy, 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 messy work. Very much worth taking everybody's recommendation of just hiring somebody. We yes. Did. Yes. It was like six, seven grand, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. That was probably yeah. our biggest, biggest expense. Yeah, but, but worth so it. worth it because they did such that's what a great you job. See too, that's your final product, and right. Yeah, if we tried to do it and had rough edges or bad I, corners, it would look bad. That drywall was heavy. I don't think I could have done it. Yeah, they brought in big long sheets. Look yes, they 12 did. Twelve foot long by four. I don't foot. know. They were heavy. I was trying to help because they their enormous. crew wasn't here and ended up getting here a little earlier than anticipated. Um, and it's in our basement, so I tried to help, and I was just guiding it, and it fell out. Holy cow, that hurt. So, yeah. yeah I'm I think glad we, we did damage probably a third of it just trying to get it <laughs> in the windows and down the basement. Probably yeah. so. So, But right. anyway, so we definitely have gotten some craftiness done. And uh, hopefully at some point here soon, we'll be able to do a video of kind of the progress that we did making because it was an unfinished basement completely almost. Concrete and brick. Like 1,600 square feet of yep. unfinished basement. And now we have, you know. A good thirteen to fourteen hundred square foot is finished, and then yeah. we have storage areas. And boy, can you tell a difference when you walk into like the well room where the well and software yeah. is, where there's no insulation and everything. Oh, it's freezing! And then you come into the right main room, and you're like, ah, it's actually really nice in here. It is. It's a very, it's a very good accomplishment. Yes, Got pretty cool. Done. So anyway, thanks again for hanging out with us for a little bit, and hope your holiday was fantastic. We have New Year's coming up. Uh, that is what. Thursday night, oh, I think, I is New know. Year's. So I'll be 53 in another week or so. You will next Monday. I made it through another Christmas, so I'm happy. He can't go anywhere. <laughs> He's stuck with me. Yeah, I'm holding on. I'm holding on. Hold on. Hold on to me. Yeah. Hold on to me. <laughs> All right. See you later, you guys. Go. Take care. Bye. Bye.